Red Bull Hardline came around to show the world what the top riders could do. At World Cup, you've got restrictions, but Hardline is about how gnarly the jumps are, it's about how technical the, the rock gardens are, and it's kind of a more rounded event. One of the most attractive things for us was the fact that we were getting to put a race together on our own terms. From the top of the track, you know, it's really mixed. You've got open moorland, and then you've got really natural rocky stuff, man-made road gaps, and then dirt jumps. It looks a lot gnarlier than the last World Cups I've done. It's all a bit daunting when you walk it. First round is always the uh, most nerve-wracking, but we'll get into it. Bit nervous. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. yeah. For the first run, we all went down as a group. We'd always ride with each other and try different lines. And there's a lot of stuff up there that I'm not really sure how to hit, you know? There's stuff that's, you know, you don't really ride in World Cup tracks. There's like big kickers and awkward hips and gaps into another gap that you really have to hold speed into. And there's a lot of stuff that is going to be a huge learning curve. I can't even imagine trying to do a race run down here. We get to the road gap and we jump off our bikes, walk to the edge, have a look. Pretty intimidating, the big drop. I mean, it's, it is a big gap and you're you're pretty high up, you're coming in and you're not really sure that first run how your speed is. And... You've got two options, you either clear it in your suite or you go home in a wooden box. A little bit nervous, a little bit nervous. Track is insane, man. I, I didn't expect it as, as hard as it was and uh, I shit myself at the moment. I think World Cup is quite regimented, you know, they've got so many riders and there's, they've got to be on a really strict schedule. And we kind of wanted to chill the riders out and give them as much time as possible and just try and make it a bit more like a jam than an actual race. How are you feeling now? Huh? It was all good fun until Gatley just said we have to go up and race. <laughs> and now we've got to go fast. <laughs> the riders have been getting to grips with this ferocious course all day. If Freeride jumped into bed with Downhill, then this would be its devil child. The best riders on the planet are about to be pushed to their absolute limit. Kicking things off is the UK's Joe Smith. This course is a lot more testing than anything he will have tackled on this year's World Cup circuit. Holding a tight line there. So quick on this top section. Oh, sending that huge double there. So much time in the air. Towards that finish line. And safely over the line. Brendan Fairclough. This is a man who blurs the line between downhill and free ride. Oh, this is looking solid. Oh no, he's gone down hard. Gone down out in the open. Oh, so disappointing for Fairclough. Young Frenchman, Loic Bruni. One of the hottest properties on the World Cup circuit. And into this rock section. Well, he knows how to ride a bike fast. Oh. He's nailed those huge gaps there. It's Bruni with an amazing run. The next man, Dan Atherton, the evil genius behind this insane course. On the perfect line into that blown out right-hander. He's making it look so easy at the moment. There is no room for error here. He sends the massive road gap. Athy tames his own beast. 
He has got to be happy with that. Only two riders left. Dropping in, it's Danny Hart. Oh, so light on his bike and carrying so much speed. Comfortable on the big parts of this course. Going light over those big rock sections, a different line here. We know this man will take it to the limit. So much hang time. Hart, not easily scared, he is eating up this course. Coming down off this big rock drop. Goes in hard there. Throwing out a signature whip. He goes fastest with only one man to go. From a former world champion to the current. G. Atherton is on the form of his life. He smashed it in qualifying. Can he do it again in his race run? G. well, carrying great speed on this top part of the course. On the pedals hard. He's up by two seconds. Atherton clearly relishing this track of extremes. He's going to come down the line now. He's going to put some pressure on. Oh, look at that. Oh, what's happened? He looks to be slowing. Oh, and look at him. It's a flat rear. It's over for the world champion. Danny Hart takes the win here at the first ever Red Bull Hardline. So I'll be back next year for sure. I was so like excited for that last ride. I was like, this is the best track in the world. It's going to be like amazing to just smash it. It's not about who's going to win and who's going to get second and third. It's about pushing the boundary of the sport.